knowing the deep there's adventure and danger, that's where you'll find Diver Dan. The sights that he sees are surprising and stranger than ever you'll see on the land. Below the restless, surging waves, there's mystery and danger. Into this exciting world, there comes a tiny stranger. A goldfish from the world above needs someone to befriend her. So let us follow her below to see who will defend her. Hi there, Georgie Porgy. Well, Felly, what's new? I was just on my way to visit the mermaid. Minerva? Yep. She promised to sing us a song. Oh, great. Well, come along. What did you say? I didn't say anything. Well, I heard a squeak. And so did I. I wonder. Well, bless my gill and fins. A new fish. And a cute one. Oh, she's scared. Oh, come on out, pretty little fish. We won't harm you. I'm Finley the Haddock, and this is Georgie the Porgy. And we wouldn't harm you. Oh, she's sure scared. Well, you can't blame her. There's plenty of danger here among the reefs. I wonder where she came from. Well, little one, we're friendly fish. What's your name? Maybe she can't talk. Maybe she's too scared to talk. Here comes Doc Sturgeon. Oh, good. Hey, Doc. Here? Yeah? Oh, Finley. <laughs> How are you today? <laughs> well, I hope. Doc, look what we found. That cute little fish, bright as a coin. Well, bless my scales. <laughs> How cute. Wherever did she come from? We don't know. Oh, she's scared. <laughs> well, now, boys, on the basis of medical and physiological evidence, I diagnose her as a stranger to the reef. Is that good or bad? Well, I can't rightly say, George. But she's mighty helpless. We'll have to take good care of her. Say, Doc, I think we ought to take her to Miss Minerva. Hmm, perhaps you're right. The mermaid princess would know what to do. I'll bet Miss Minerva would protect her and keep her as a pet. Georgie, you go tell Miss Minerva. If she agrees, we'll bring the pretty little fish to her. Right now, Finley. Yes, Finley, this little fish will require special care. She's not used to the life in the deep. Enemies like the bad barren barracuda would... Oh, don't worry, Doc. I'll guard her until Georgie can ask the mermaid whether... Hey, Georgie's coming back. Something wrong? I don't know. The strangest thing. What? A hard, round lump of water. Eh? What do you mean? A lump of hard water. You can't swim through it. It's coming down. Hard water. Swim up. See for yourself. Let's go. There. What is it? You're right, Georgie. It is hard. Strange. I can see you, Finley. But I can't swim through it. See? It's a round lump of hard water, like I said. <laughs> the bright little fish is unprotected, Trigger. Mm, yeah, boss. Don't call me boss. I'm Baron Barracuda. Yeah, you sure are, boss. Then call me Baron, you fool. Oh, okay, Baron, you fool. I see our chance to grab that new little fish. Now, when I give the signal... Well, boys, I don't think it's water at all. It's not even ice. 
It's something that is called glass. Glass, huh? What does it do? Careful now. What's that? It's Goldie. The Baron. We gotta save her. Come on, men. Whoops. Ouch. You're knocking off the ledge. The Baron. Way down deep, three friendly fish saw a round glass bowl. A frightened goldfish hides within a coral hole. The friendly fish would go all out to help the pretty stranger. How can this bowl they found protect her from her danger? He moves among creatures of frightening features. Flashing teeth, flashing jaws, flapping fins, snapping claws. He protects and he saves his friends under the waves. That's where you'll find Diver Dan. Below in the deep there's adventure and danger, that's where you'll find Diver Dan. The sights that he sees are surprising and stranger than ever you'll see on the land. Now Goldie's revived from a treatment of gold, which Finley has brought from the treasure ship's hold. But Baron and Trigger consort to purloin this glamorous fortune of bullion and coin. That must be the old ship where the talking fish picked up the gold coin. Hey, listen. That funny-looking fish is singing. Blow the man down, mateys, blow the man down, Jimmy Wave. I wonder if Finley was in time to save the little goldfish. Blow, blow the man down, mateys, blow the man down. Careful now. Uh, hey, boss, I'm uh, nervous. And I'm bad and bad cool. Are you sure, boss? Quiet. That gold will soon be ours. Ah, yo ho, me hearties. It's a beautiful day. <laughs> hmm. I wonder how Finley made out. So what do we do now, boss? Uh, something nasty as usual? Quiet, you fool. You heard what Finley said. That old ship is full of gold coins. Is that good, boss? Not boss, Baron Stupid. You're okay, Baron Stupid. Shh. If they want the gold, then I want the gold. So what do we do with it, boss? We'll keep them from having it. Isn't that enough? Oh. Isn't she the cutest little thing? The patient is fully recovered, <laughs> thanks to my medicine. You mean the gold dust? Oh, gee, that's wonderful stuff. Yes, we should keep some handy in case the goldfish has a relapse. Finley and Georgie, why don't you ask Skipper Kipper for more gold coins? Oh, right away, Miss Minerva. Isn't she the cutest little thing? Who ever heard of a talking fish? But that was a real gold coin. Must be more in that wrecked ship over there. Can't move very fast in this heavy outfit. And there goes that talking fish again. Hey there! I guess they didn't hear me. Oh, there comes Finley and Georgie. Hey, yo ho, me lads! What's that, Skipper? Yo ho, me lads! Oh, and a yo ho to you, too! Well, we wanted to tell you that those gold coins did the trick. They saved Goldie's life. Oh, yes, Skipper. Those gold coins are worth their weight in worms. The little goldfish is bright and pretty as can be now. Miss Minerva the mermaid is keeping her as a pet. I'm glad to find they have some value, boys. Always plan to sweep out the old cabin, but 
Well, he had some use after all. Oh, I'll see. Goldie would have been a poor fish without that. See, Trigger? We've got to get those gold coins. You don't want to be a poor fish? I don't want to be a poor fish. So we must have the gold. Mm, naturally, boy. Doc says I should get a few more. Uh, sort of keep them on hand. You can never tell when it might come in handy to have a little 24 karat gold around. That's right. Right, old Malaj. I'll get a couple right now. Now, please, watch for our chance. We'll sneak up on them and grab all the gold. Gee, boss, you're smart. How many times have I told you not to call me that? Whoops, I'm sorry, uh, gee, boss, you're stupid. Not stupid, Baron, you fool! Okay, okay, Baron, you fool! Oh, never mind. When Finley and Georgie leave, you sneak inside the old ship. The skipper is old and weak. But Baron, uh, when I get in the ship, I get seasick. And you get me sick. Huh? That's a joke. Oh. oh. <laughs> you, 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 you smart, Baron, you fool. I don't get it. One of these days, Trigger, it will be too much. Oh, those will be fine. Uh, Georgie, you take one and I'll take the other. Uh, head your tails, Finley. Careful, Trigger. Don't show yourself. Slink. Slink. It's traditional. Okay, Baron. Will you sleep? I'll sleep. We all sleep. What did you say? We're fine, my lads. Take those gold coins back to the good doctor, Surgeon Sturgeon. Hey, be careful, boys. Uh, blow the man down, ladies. Blow the man down. Oh, hey. Looks like we're in for a bit of rough weather. Well, when I give the signal. Uh, to the pothole, boy? Yes. Now Baron and Trigger near Skipper do slink to sneak out the gold as quick as a wink. Old Skipper's not so alert as he was in his prime. Can he manage to shut the porthole in time? He moves among creatures of frightening features, flashing teeth, flashing jaws, flapping and snapping claws. He protects and he saves his friends under the way. That's where you'll find Diver Dan. Below in the deep there's adventure and danger, that's where you'll find Diver Dan. The sights that he sees are surprising and stranger than ever you'll see on the land. Diver Dan and his friends wait with great suspense as rescue operations become more intense. Goldie pulls the slender fuse for the dynamite they must use. Goldie is caught. Goldie, release the fuse. Then come along without it. She dropped the fuse. Diver Dan called to her when she couldn't make it with the fuse. He must have an idea. The space is too small for Goldie and the fuse. Can Goldie swim backwards, Doc? Yes. Good. Now that you're on this side, Goldie, try this. If you head in, pick up the fuse in your mouth, then swim backwards. You'll make it. Goldie's back in the hole. She's picking up the fuse.
Is she going to make it, Dan? Here she comes. We're saved. The fuse is through. Now everyone will have to clear away. The dynamite is here. I'll place it right by the rock. Now everybody, move back. Now we'll all have to move far back from the rock. I'll caution those on the other side. We must all get very, very far from the explosion. This is dangerous business. It can kill all of us if we're not careful. All right, go back now. Everybody move far, far away. The farther, the better. I will count to ten before I light the fuse. Stand by. What is happening? Can't you see? What's going on? Yeah, I don't know, boss. Uh, they're all going away. Going away? Even uh, Miss Minerva, the mermaid, is leaving a the rock. There's no one there now at all. Are you clear, Horace? Finley? Goldie? We're clear. Here goes. I'm going down there to see what's going on for myself. Stay back now. Why, there's the Baron and Trigger. They're at the dynamite. Hold your ears. Any second now. Baron! Trigger! Get away! Get away! That did it. The entrance is open. Who but the Baron and Trigger? I'm afraid that... Diver Dan will be coming out now. I must leave. You're safe, all of you? Welcome, welcome. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Diver Dan found me and... Brought us all back safely through the Sargos to sea. Oh, be grateful for all you've done, Diver Dan. Where's the mermaid? Didn't I hear her voice before? <laughs> Once she knew you were safe, she left. <laughs> Such a shy girl, you know. <laughs> Look, the Baron's monocle, smashed. Well, I think we've seen the last of the Baron and his trigger fish. I wish I could stay with you all forever, but my time is running out. I must get back to my ship, and I'll remember all of you always. You've helped us in our problem with the Baron Barracuda. You've helped each of us with our problems. Perhaps Haas will come with you now to the aquarium. I wouldn't think of asking him. If you want me to come with you. No, Horace. Stay here with your friends. I just came over this way for a vacation, remember? I'm supposed to be visiting Skipper. Yeah, some vacation. Take care of that ship of yours, Skipper. <laughs> Don't worry, I will. Gee, it's hard to believe you're leaving us. Thank you again for, for everything. And, and if ever your captain brings you to these waters again, well, do come to see us. I will. And maybe next time, I'll meet the mermaid. I'll miss Diver Dan. From the day I saw the door to free his air hose, I likes that fellow. And you, Goldie. And Diver Dan helped you, and you helped him.
There comes a time when friends depart, but memories remain inside the heart. Though Diver Dan has gone away, we hope he'll return again someday. He moves among creatures of frightening features, flashing teeth, flashing jaws, flapping and snapping claws. He protects and he saves his friends under the way. That's where you'll find Diver Dan. Below in the deep there's adventure and danger, that's where you'll find Diver Dan. The sights that he sees are surprising and stranger than ever you'll see on the land. Many lost lands are famous in history, but what happened to them forever is a mystery. Once Finley and Diver Dan nearly found out, and that's what our story is really about. Goldie, I think it's time for your lesson. Now, Goldie, don't you want to learn things about the sea? Miss Minerva's right, Goldie. Since you weren't born here in the ocean, you've got a lot to learn. Miss Minerva, why don't you explain the mysteries of the ocean? Now, now pay attention. Suffering seal life. What was that? Well, keep calm, everyone. See? It's passing. It was an underwater earthquake. I'm sure of it. As sure as I am a sturgeon, sturgeon. I think you're right. But an earthquake in this part of the ocean? Finley, will you investigate? Go and locate it. Certainly, Miss Minerva. Seems to be settling at last, but I still can't see a thing. What's that? Oh, Diver Dan! Finley, what are you doing here? Investigating the earthquake for Miss Minerva. I'm waiting for it to clear up before I explore any further. It's much easier to see now. Dan, look! Why, why, that wasn't there before. Well, what is it? It looks like an ancient city, but not like any I've ever seen before. But what would a city be doing here at the bottom of the sea? Well, that's a tough question to answer, Finley. Let's take a closer look. Well, I'm game if you are. What do those strange words say, Dan? I don't know, Finley. In fact, I, I can't even guess what language it's in. Strange. Very strange. I'll bet Miss Minerva would know. She knows everything. I have an idea. I'll copy it. It's not perfect, but take this copy to Miss Minerva and see if she can translate it. Meanwhile, I'll explore a bit further. Okay, but well, be careful, Dan. Don't worry. I'll be careful. Then they mustn't talk with your mouth full. Miss Minerva, 
Diver Dan's found a city right where the earthquake happened. It's a strange looking place. A city? Here? And what is this? Well, this is a copy of some strange words that are carved over the entrance to the city. Can you make it out, Miss Minerva? Dan wants to know what they mean. Hmm. Let me see. Hey, King Neptune once showed me something like this. Oh, my. Oh, my, I don't believe it. What is it, Miss Minerva? I've never seen you so excited before. The inscription says, The Royal Palace of Atlantis. Atlantis? Do you remember, Kenley? I told you about the great kingdom of Atlantis. It sank into the sea. Is that the one you mean? Yes. An earthquake swallowed it up. Well, we had always thought it to be a myth. But it must be true. And the earthquake we felt before brought Atlantis up again. Wait. I see something else here. He who profanes the royal throne will die a long, lingering death. Let no one enter, lest he never leave. Gosh, I gotta get back to warn Dan. If he touches the throne, oh, Neptune knows what'll happen to him. Hurry, Finley, before it's too late. I'd better be careful. What's that? Hmm, old fellow, I wonder how he met his end. Well, this is interesting. Dan! Dan! That's Finley. I can't hear him too clearly. What is it, Finley? Stay away from the throne! Something about the throne. Looks all right to me. been a trigger for this game. I wonder, will I, will I end up like him? In an ancient city, Dan is held fast. Perhaps he's come to his end at last, but Finley is still free. He'll come to Dan's aid, for Finley is staunch, stalwart, and unafraid. He moves among creatures of frightening features. Flashing, he's flashing, jaws flapping, the chapping claws. He protects and he saves his friends under the way. That's where you'll find Diver Dan. In the deep, there's adventure and danger. That's where you'll find Diver Dan. The sights that he sees are surprising and stranger than ever you'll see on the land. Trigger and Baron are mean as ever. We must admit their tricks are clever. The helpless scoutfish gasps and chokes, the victim of their evil hopes. me. Help them! <laughs> Most effective. Look, Trigger, how the scout fish is helpless. He never looked better in his life, what? Boy, this is fun. Hey, uh, Baron. Yes, Trigger? Suppose I go around and bite his tail, huh? Don't be such a fool, you fool. Why not? Don't you see that the poison gas is flowing that way? Stay here with me, out of danger. Uh, I'm with you, boy. Trigger, I keep telling you to call me Baron regularly. Okay, Baron regularly. Yeah, hey, Baron, how long do you think Scoutfish will last? At this rate, not very long. Oh, me finished. This-um, is-um, last-um, round-up. 
I go to him, big fish on the sky. No sign of the Baron or Trigger yet, Finley. Gee, I wonder where they could have gone. I don't know. But as long as the Baron has that tank, we've got to keep searching. Every fish is in danger. Say, maybe Scoutfish has picked up the Baron's trail. Oh, Ham, uh, he's probably sleeping somewhere if I know Scoutfish. You mustn't be too hot on Scoutfish, Finley. He does his best. Yes, I suppose you're right, Dan. Say, there's one place we haven't tried yet. Where's that? The Valley of Rocks. The Valley of Rocks? Well, it's worth a try, I guess. Let's go. <clears throat> or go about finish. Uh, oh. Uh, oh. <laughs> Hey, Baron, you know, I just had an idea. You, an idea? How remarkable. Uh, what is this uh, <laughs> idea? Well, uh, now that Scoutfish is ready to kick off, uh, maybe I should sound taps for him. Uh, him being an old warrior and all that jazz, you know? <laughs> Very amusing. Go ahead, Trigger. Make the Scouts last moments. As miserable as possible. <laughs> okay, here it goes. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Dan, did you hear that? I've heard some strange sounds below, but that sounds like... like... taps? Hey, I think that's Trigger. Then they're here, in the Valley of Rocks. Oh, oh. oh. Scott Fish. Go to happy fishing ground. Scoutfish, where are you? Uh, uh, yike, that ain't no echo. Curses in the die for coming this way. Oh, be safe. Quickly shut off the tank trigger and take it with us. Yeah, where are we going, boss? Away from here. There he is, Finley, wedged between those two rocks. What are you doing now, Trigger, you old? Eh, just having some fun with this stuff, boss. Look! Next, we shall use it to destroy our enemies one by one. Gee, uh, sometimes you scare even me, boy. Uh, who's first on the list? Very simple. Who is the most helpless, the most unprotected of all? The my man. Correct. Then, in true cowardly fashion, we begin with her. I do wish someone would come. I'm so lonely. And with the Baron and Trigger about, I'm... Oh, I'm a bit frightened. Now, get as close to her as you can, with the current flowing in her direction. The gas will overcome her. Minerva the mermaid is not aware that danger threatens. She'd better beware. The Baron watches the poison spray. She'll soon succumb 
if he has his way. He goes among creatures of frightening features, flashing teeth, flashing jaws, flapping and snapping claws. He protects and he saves his friends under the way. That's where you'll find Iver Dan.